Final Fantasy 7. Hello everybody, my name is Scion Gaming, or Scion, or Shion, however you want to call it. And welcome to Final Fantasy 7, a new threat. Now the new threat part is a mod that's been re that's been recently updated back in well in January. So I'm gonna be doing a, a, a quite a bit of a playthrough on on this new mod. And I hope you stick around for the journey of Final Fantasy 7, a new threat, because it adds new elements to the story, which I will tell you throughout this playthrough. I hope you enjoy. Hey, what are you doing here? Okay, as you can see, Barrett's been upgraded, and so is Cloud, so he hasn't got the Popeye arms and all that, though. Come on, newcomer, follow me. Got it. Okay, let's get some potions. Right, let's move. Barrett, wait up! Uh, excuse me? Wait! Uh, my first actual battle. Okay, so there's like a few little things that's changed. The difficulty in the game has definitely gone up, and also, we start- we also start up with three spells instead of one. But they're a little bit higher up instead of like the usual four MP, they've now gone up to eight. But the good news is, they're like, they're also stronger. Which is also a good thing, actually, because, you know, you don't want weak-ass spells and all that, though. So, yeah, the battle mechanics stay perfectly the same, except the battles are a lot more tougher and a lot more difficult to figure out. Plus, level up this game is a lot more easier in some areas. Also, the rewards for battles are a lot more better though, and sometimes you get a better amount of experience points. Also, this little glitch thing that's happening on the screen, um, yeah, this happened to me before when I tried, um, testing out the game itself. Well, you used to be in Soldier, huh? Now, ev now every day you find one in Avalanche. Soldier? Aren't they the enemy? What's he doing in Avalanche? He was in Soldier, Jesse. But he quit, now he's with us. I didn't catch your name. My name is Cloud. Cloud, eh? I'm... I don't care what your names are. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. What are you all doing here? Before I told you never to move in the group. I'll talk to North Make a reactor. Oh, mock a reactor. I don't know which one it is. We'll, we'll meet, out the meet out on the bridge in front of it. Okay, yeah, that's also a an issue. Okay, there we go. So the glitch just goes. I don't know if it's going to be like that for the rest of the game. Ex soldier, huh? I don't trust you. Well, nice to meet you too, Barrett. I've got a question for you. You want ori original bat- oh. Original battle music or field battle music? Okay, I don't know the exact difference with this in particular, so I'm gonna go with just the regular battle music. All right, then let's go. Okay, so I don't know exactly this. There's any difference between them because I haven't tested them, but I might get down to that sometime. Also, every little detail, like the models change, is is a very nice thing to the game. So yeah, I hope. I hope you guys actually will enjoy this because I actually wanted to do like a full Final Fantasy 7 Let's Play on my chat on well I've just since I just started doing this. I hope you guys will actually enjoy it though, so as you can see like the models are done a lot more nicer and you'll notice like a few little things different with the story. Yo, this is your first time in the reactor? No, after all I did work for Shimmer, you know. The plant's full of Marco Energy. People use it every day. So? What's that gonna do with me? It's like blood this planet. Sure, keep sucking out the blood with these weird machines. I'm not here for a lecture. Let's just do it. All right, you come with me from now on. Okay, yeah. So basically, so far, I played up to this. I played past this point. Okay, so like, I did a few test runs of the game to see if there's any kind of glitches, or any problems, and I want to see how the my recording software would do with this game. And I've done like, I've well. I've ran it with um, Skype in the background, and honest to god, it, it didn't... This game didn't like once. Or well, good thing, because I want a brand new computer and all those, so that helps a lot, though. So, so I know with Skype calls, they're like, they're not very good. Or like, they're kind of like a big kick in the balls, though, for... Um, when you're trying to record stuff, because they can take up quite a bit of a prop CPU. But enough about that, though. As you probably noticed, Barrett's, Barrett's character model is a lot more darker to max the clothes. Little by little, the, the, the reactor's drained on all the life. And that'll be the that'll be uh, there, there, but that'll be that. It's not my problem. What the uh, fuck? The plant's dying, Cloud. The only thing I care about is finishing this job before the before security and the Robo guards come. Oh, RoboCop, which one? Whichever we do. Uh, whatever. 
Also, if you pay attention to Barrett's um, battle model, um, you will notice that um, there's something quite interesting with it, and that would be the um, the Fearian, um well, not really the Fearian, the lion that Cloud has on his Avid Children outfit, which is actually a really nice touch. Okay, so as you're seeing right now, definitely a lot of things are, are the same, but enemies are a lot stronger. Well, okay, yeah, they are a lot stronger, and also they can pack more of a punch. Also, I need to change the settings on here, so... Already, I got a limit break. That's awesome. Okay, let's try it. Okay, let's try it braver. Ah, uh, yep. Oh, yeah. Ow. Son of a bitch. I hope the game isn't, like, lagging for any of you guys, because that's not what I want. I really hope the game isn't, like, lagging, because... Well, that's the one thing I really do not want. I don't want you guys to suffer from severe... The game being severely laggy. So, like, you see, like, you're able to get, like, a ton of experience points, and Baron nearly leveled up after just one fight. Okay, so I've just quickly just modified my, uh, my battles. Now it's active instead of recommended, so it's, like, it's all fast-paced. Okay, so, yeah, the game doesn't look like it's lagging. So I... And also, I... I'm playing this with headphones, so... If I knew there was lagging, I would be able to tell. So, the like, the... Like, the... So, like, the sound effects and all that aren't, aren't cut, the music isn't cut. And everything looks perfectly fine, which is good news. But also, I'm gonna need some healing. So, I'll allow to do it. And you also notice something really interesting, what they've done. What this mod actually entails. So, once you see it, though, you'll see what I mean. Ow! Bloody hell. So, if you keep watching, I gained 300 health this time. Instead of 100. So, like, the potions in this one increase your health. It, it, triple, it increases your health by triple. But on the field, it's just the very usual 100 like it usually is in the original game. So, if you're really struggling for potions, then I recommend you try grinding for some in this area. I mean, I mean I'm mean, i playing this on the Steam version, okay? So, if anyone wants to know if you can put this on the Steam version, yes, you can. You can play this on the Steam version. So, just to let you know that. I, and I hope that doesn't really put anyone off the game itself, because this game is actually really fun when you got down the mods. I mean, like, the mods, like, so far, I've managed to get, like, a... Good amount of potions and all that. Okay, so see another potion now. Actually, I'm gonna quickly talk to Jesse. Okay, she just tells me about the ladder thing, which is weird. So we're gonna go down the ladder, and we're gonna try and get close to where I need to be. So we need to go over here and down the ladder over here. I really do like how the PlayStation One era had the drawn areas. They were my favorite about this game. And it still is to my it still is to my day to the very day. I love the drawn artwork. Yeah, like a sweeper. Okay, I'll show you the magic. So like, I'll use bolt for example. I really hope I didn't like cut off cut somewhere because that would be awkward. So anyway, let's try out bolt and I'll show you how powerful it is. So yeah, it's a lot more powerful in this game. I think. I mean, like it's been a while since I actually played the original, so I really haven't really got much of a context on this one. I just burped there for a minute. <laughs> that's not a good way to, to do your first playthrough. Boom! And that's how you do it. So, like, you can see there's, like, a lion on Barret's arm, which is, re which is a really nice touch. Also, I got a high potion from that thing. So, yeah. The same points work exactly the same. You know, oh, god damn, I didn't mean to do that. So, I'm going to quickly save the game. Okay, so the game has now been saved. As you can see up there, it's been saved to the local thingamajig, as usual. So, anyway, for this point onwards, the battles are going to get a little bit more tougher. So, I'm going to do a quick bit of grinding. Okay, so now I'm at level 9 now. I've got a decent amount of strength and vitality and all that crap. And Barrett's at level 9 as well, but he has, like, the more strength and all that. And he has, like, more... Actually, he's got more luck than I do and has more to... Wait, no, he's just better at strength and, and luck. I'm the one that has more stuff. Also, I've seen it. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I know a bit of material is being put on the bronze one. So, anyway, let's get down to it. We gotta help, we gotta help him plant the bomb. Hopefully, this will be easy. I mean, come on. We've made it so far, and I haven't died yet. This is gonna be fun. I received the restore material. Too bad I can't equip it yet, though, because, you know, it's, that, it's not there yet. Anyway, let's go and plant the bomb. That's gonna be fun. When this blow, when this, when we blow this place, it ain't gonna be nothing more than a hunk of junk. Cloud, you set the bomb. Um, shouldn't you do it? I have no idea what to do with a bomb. 
Just do it. I'm too goddamn lazy to do it. And don't try to pull. And don't try to pull nothing. Fine, I'll do it. Uh oh, looks like I'm tripping balls again. Watch out. This isn't just a normal reactor. Woo! Goddamn voices in my head. What's wrong? Huh? <laughs> I just said the exact same thing he said. What's wrong, Carl? Hurry up! Yeah, it, sorry. Jeez. Beep boop, beep boop, beep boop, beep. Ah, oh, Christ! And so, here it comes. Now, here's the biggest change. Instead of the detonator being activated right after the fight, the detonator actually activates now. Okay, to be perfectly honest, I actually like how it's done it this way because. Well, that's how the detonator should have worked out. Also, the um, the scorpion's now been modified, and by modified, it's a lot more difficult to kill, and it has a new move instead of the la the scorpion laser tail. But since I got braver, I'm gonna use it and smack the shit out of it. Boom! A lot of damage already off the bat. And also, uh oh, that doesn't look good. Ow, motherfucker! I'll execute your. Sh I'll execute the shit out of you. Bolt. <laughs> you don't like that, do you? I got a guy with a freaking gun arm, and I have three sets of magic. What the hell does this thing even have? Also, by the way, I will not be showing off this thing's old new move because it's a fu move, and I literally mean that it's an fu move. So use it at your own leisure, unless you want to risk the fact that you might lose your experience points. Also, I have no idea what this, what that move does. It, oh, it, oh, it, it target a certain person and then attack the person. Oh, I never realized that. I guess I looked away when something like that happened. Also, I have to be really careful because if that thing there, so it's free, oh, there we go. So what we're gonna do now is not do anything and just heal up our teammates. So by doing so, I can have a bit more magic. And more MP. Well, no, magic is an MP are the exact same thing. Have more health and have more magic. Simple as, and it's very easy. Plus, I need a bit more magic ap after all because, well, the magic, the new spells I have take up a lot of magic. So, I am not gonna attack this thing due to the fact being, if I attack it, it will send one of the party members out of the out of the match. And that way, it's just like the Me the Mega Zal Zalem. The if it uses like its FU tail to send you out the freaking arena. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend trying it unless you don't want one of your characters to level up anymore. So yeah, I uh, so yeah, there's a hint from from Shion. Or Sion. I really haven't picked I haven't really thought about it. You can call me whatever you want, okay? I'm happy if you want to call me Sion, Shion, whatever, I really don't I really I really don't care. Like call me whatever you want. I, I I'd feel free if you called me Sion or Shion. But right now we gotta get we gotta get we gotta kick it into overdrive. We got seven and a half minutes. So yeah, like that's that's the reason why I actually like this version better because it keeps a bit more realism to it. Because in actuality, when Cloud activated the bomb in the game, it should the bomb should have been activated straight away. But the reason they didn't put that in, though, due to the fact being though that they didn't want to make the game too difficult. So yeah, that's the reason why they didn't bother putting anything like that in the game. Also, here's another change that actually appears in this game. So. So all we have to do is just what to do is just get Jesse out. Hey Jesse, let me help you out. Are you right? My leg got stuck. Look out! So yeah, here's something really cool. Yeah, the, the scorpion thing comes back and Jesse helps you out. It ain't dead. Oh no shit. So yeah, this thing's a lot more weaker, but it's a, but it does like, but like it's malfunctioning because of the fact being I just beat the shit out of it. So like that, it said targeting error. So. Yeah, you know this figure is a lot weaker than before, and also Jesse actually attacks. This is game. This game is really cool, and also like that's actually an original model for Jesse, which is nice. Also, it's using that shock ability thing, well, and but since it's really badly damaged, though, it isn't gonna really put much of a fight though. Like literally, this thing won't do anything, and it, and also Jesse can use weapons like that, which is also really helpful. So there we go. From here on out, it's pretty much an easy easy sales though, because well. I just destroyed the other half of the freaking machine. So yeah, I got myself some AP and some experience points. No items though, and Jesse's on the run. Okay, so I've got five minutes. Let's just get the hell out of here, ladies and gentlemen. 
and get out of and make sure we don't get caught up in the caught up in the explosion. Also, I did that somewhere like a sideways thing. Oh crud! Also, I don't know if that alarm has actually just been added or it was in the original. So a lot of things I might notice or I might not. So, but here's a question: Where was the Here's a question to all of you. What was the very first Final Fantasy game you played? Was it this one? Or did you play one of the later ones? Or did you even start with some of the er some of the first ones like Final Fantasy 1, Final Fantasy 2, which is Final Fantasy 4, or Final Fantasy 3, which is Final Fantasy 6? Uh it's a good thing I was good thing I was actually well, I was born during the time that that shit was happening though, so actually no, I was born during that shit was still happening. And then, three years later, at the age of three, Final Fantasy VII was released. That was kind of awesome. That's like a great... That's like a great day that, like... That's like a fantastic day to, to be three years old. Like, like one of my favorite RPGs is released on that day. So from here on out, it's pretty much easy sales. Nothing really bad. I mean, you can wait around with the timer to, cl to clock down, but where's the fun in that? Anyway, we gotta get moving. Fall Solid Snake! Wait, Snake, wait up! Of course, there is people waiting for me at the entrance. You know that? That really doesn't surprise me. So let's kick it up a notch. Stupid machines. Stupid robots. Trying to ruin my day. I'm trying to record things for everyone to watch and enjoy, and they're interrupting my running animation. So yeah, Barrett is really close behind me because of how this game does experience. But enough about that, we gotta get the hell out of here! Where does that door open up? God damn it, Jesse, get your ass up! Come on, we gotta get ruined! It's gonna explode! Whew! Now that was close. We made it out of there alive. That's a belief. That should get the planet going a lo at least a little longer. Yeah. Hmm. And I'm just standing there looking cool. Okay, now everyone get back! Yeah, okay, sure, what's gonna happen? Oh sweet Jesus! Nah, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, I'm out. There's Barrett, there's Biggs, there's Jesse, and of course Wedge's ass is on fire. Well done, Wedge. How do you get your ass on fire? Seriously, you should have been away from the explosion. Alright, now let's get the hell out. Let's get out of here. One of you at Sector, sector 8 station, split up and get on the train. Hey! It's about the money, we'll go wait until we get back. Sure, dude. Sure, sure. We'll wait until we get, we get back. I mean, I want my money now, but hey. Ah, Loveless. If you saw um, the completionist video on it, then you'll know the reference. Or if you knew the reference already, though, so yeah. I am not gonna go through references as such. References are not really. References are cool, but they're not cool all the time. Excuse me, what happened? Nothing. Hey. You don't see many flowers around here. Oh, these? Do you like them? They're only one gill. Yes. Oh, thank you. Here you are. Thank you. Wait, come back. Can I not have your number? Come back! Oh, damn it. I lost her. Also, people run around the place like maniacs. Stop running around the place, everyone. It's not the end of the world yet. I received a potion. Oh, God. Electricity. Okay, so this section here allows you to fight soldiers and don't fight soldiers, so I'm not gonna do that though. I'm too strong enough. HALT! Later. I SHOULD FREEZE! Uh oh. Later! And, well this is just great. That's as far as you go. I don't have time to mess around with you guys. Enough babbling! Grab him! Adios, suckers! Yeah, look at me go. Stand on this train and get in away from here. Whew. Now that's why I call a close shave. Delivery. I mean, that would have been awkward if I got caught. Cloud never came. Cloud. Think he, think he was killed? No way. Cloud. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Oof. What the hell was that? Say, do you think Cloud's gonna stay and fight the fat for Avalanche? What the hell would I know? Do I look like a mind reader? God damn it, my fucking hand's now broken. 
If you all would such screw ups, my hand wouldn't be bust. Hey, pal, what about our money? God damn it, wait, you made me put my hand again. Oh, nothing, sorry. You put my fucking hand. Let's come out of your pay. Ah, 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 ah. Hello, hello, someone let me in. Hello, early up. Cloud! Yo, bitches, looks like I'm running a little late. You're doing right, you're late. Come watching him making a big scene. It's not a, it's not a big scene. I just do what I'd always do. Motherfucker. How would everyone worry like that? You don't give a damn about no one but yourself. Hmm. You were worried about me? What? That's, that's coming out of, out of your share, hot shot! That's probably because I need to pay for the, for the surgery on my on my hand because I fucking busted because of wedge. Wake up! We're moving out! Follow me! Hello? Hey, Cloud, you were great back there. I mean, you didn't see what I was doing, but hey, thanks. <laughs> Cloud, we'll do bad. We'll do even better next time. Yeah, thanks, man. It really means a lot. Careful, I'll shut this. Thanks, Jesse. Oh, Cloud, your face is pitch black. There you go. See, thanks for having me back at the reactor. That's okay. Don't mention it, I'm just doing my job. Okay, that one's a new line. That's new, because that isn't in the original. I guess so, but I still owe you one. Now, here's a new part of the game. My job. That's right, I'm... So yeah, Cloud has like a bit of a reminiscent of what he thinks his life's about. So yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna see like some new things like that happen a lot. Last train out of Sector 7, Sector 8 station, last stop of Sector 7, train graveyard. Expected time of arrival is 12.23 a.m. Make our standard time. Oh bollocks! Come on babe, let's go! I'm gonna make myself at home on this train. Oh bloody hell! This is why- this is why I hate the last train! Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, so if you know the game, I'm gonna end, I'm gonna end up having to do the freaking screen thing, so I'm gonna try to get that done first. This train has to switch to the security mode yet. I'm sure that will by tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Someday Avalanche is gonna be famous, and me too! Okay. Cloud, do you think I'll get think I got a bright future ahead of me? What do you have in mind? All my life I felt like nothing but a sidekick, but after joining Avalanche and trying to save the planet, I feel like I could do lots of things. Yeah, that's cool, bro. I, I respect that. Hey, Cloud. You wanna look at this for me? It's a map of the second of the of the, of the Midgar radio state system. Let's look at it together. I'll explain it. Oh, <gasps> can I skip it? Oh, please tell me. I've seen it before. Oh, I see. Well, we need back now. That's a relief. Oh, oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. That's fucking amazing. I hate looking at that thing. Like, it's like the one thing that killed killed it for me every single time I had to replay that game because I always have to sit through that freaking tutorial bit. But, for sake of consistency, I would do it. I will listen to Tifa, though. Hell yeah, I'll, I'll definitely listen to Tifa. I'll listen to her every single day if I have to. Tifa's amazing. Okay, so we're at the train graveyard, if you probably ne didn't realize that. And everyone looks like they're returning home, and everyone's jumping down the stairs. Can I get off the train now? It's gonna- I'm getting a little bit claustrophobic up here. And I'm off. And here I go. Yo! Get over here! All y'all! All of ya! Whatever. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now! The hard part's still to come! But y'all be- but Don't y'all be scared- scared of that explosion! Cause the next one's gonna be bigger than that one! I think! I don't know, I don't wanna make bombs! Me back at the hideout! Move out! Damn it, I don't even know how the hell you're pulling this shit off, but I like your style. I like your style of blowing shit up. Blowing shit up is awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna save the game. Saving the game is better. I like saving the game. Okay, so that about wraps it up for this video. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, though, please leave a like and subscribe for more Final Fantasy video- And subscribe for more Final Fantasy related videos. Or not just videos, if you have a suggestion for an LP, please tell me it and leave a comment. Leave a comment on what game I should play next. 
And if you're enjoying this playthrough or future playthroughs, why don't you subscribe for more? And as always, I, Shion or Sion, will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye bye!